that um, people that said no, and maybe why they said no, and how you dealt with that, um, what questions you got, what, what people wanted to know about the project. The best approach for me was uh, a couple times I actually, when I was riding, I got off my bike. When I saw someone that I wanted to approach, I just asked them how they were and and said that I was a people girl Vancouver and did they want to hear about the project because I got some artwork. And that sort of opened up the communication. A couple times when I was like, do you want some free art? Some people like art were like, yeah. And then some were just like, I don't know what this is, no, I don't know what I'm getting into, so sort of warm them up to talking, and then also just like educating them on what we're doing, and I think when people are informed, they're more into what you're trying to give them, or what you want. Yeah. 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 Well, and I think people are, um, when they're approached by someone on the street, they're usually, like, their, their guard is up, because right. they're generally... Yeah the person is trying to sell them something or like <laughs> yeah. get them to become a part of something or like donate money and so you know if someone says excuse me and they're, they're already like their attention is gone and they're just like no I don't want to talk to you yeah. so you have to like really be careful what you say but yeah. like I throwing the word free out there right away generally gets people's ears perked up so. Jen did uh, one of her friends and Jen and a couple other people were nice to think he just, stepped up sure Jen, uh, a couple of months ago, and some of her friends did this, did something similar, but with cupcakes. Yeah, we're going to keep doing it, actually. Nice. So, yeah, they would just sort of be on the side of the road, and, hey, would you like a free cupcake? And it was and sort of... And people often said no, because they were, they assumed that it was like, something. you know, I was going to try and talk to them into something by right. giving them a free cupcake. And, you know, people are like, why did you do this? Why are you... And they couldn't get behind, like, they just couldn't understand that someone would do something like that just to make other people feel good. I also concur with um, the, if I had just said, hey, would you like some free art, which I um, didn't often say, but um, the answer was right away no, but um, I was much more sales pitchy in the sense of, um, I'm with the Paper Girl Project, do you have a minute for me to tell you a little bit about what that is? And um, people were like, yeah, okay. Or sometimes they're like, no, I don't have a minute, and then they carry on. And I kind of had a spiel of, um, well, this is what we are, and I tell them about it, and I be like, in this role, we have something that you may not like, you might like, and um, kind of made it a bit fun, you know? And I found that um, people really had a hard time saying no, but I could tell that they really wanted to say no. So I would joke with them that it's really okay to say no, and if you want to say no, you can say it graciously, and I can take it back and give it to someone else who actually would want it. They were kind of relieved when you allowed them to say no. I was going to say when someone was like, and I was like, well, if you don't like it, you can pass it on to someone else. Yeah. And I think that kind of did relieve them a bit from having to commit to something or that they're... Yeah, I found... I found for myself that um, once I took my sunglasses off, people were much more likely to accept the art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. I think that's true. Yeah. Eye contact. Yeah. 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 I think that's Especially true. from a male just coming up to you, approaching you, you can't see the eyes. Um, and I, I'm wondering whether or not more bike decorations or, or banners or something to yeah. identify us as a group. Yeah, yeah. I, I periodically got separated from the group and I found myself standing there with a bike full of art offering people art and they were kind of looking at me like, yeah. Yeah. whatever you're on, I want some. <laughs> well, I, I totally agree. Like, I, I found it was a lot easier to approach people when there's a whole bunch of us around because there's, people, there's, get there's, people get curious. There's Everyone starts ringing the bells. There's, it's obvious that we're part of a group. We're part of something. Yeah. Whereas if you're sort of by yourself, it's like, well, who's the guy with the stuff? But yeah, it, it, we're all by, I mean, we're, we're all together, and it's, it, it's, well, what, what are they doing? Now, now, it's a curious. You want, you, you want to know? And the, the, the ones who really are interested, and the, we're going to be a lot more receptive. It's a lot easier to spot them because they're the ones who are just looking over their shoulders trying to figure out what it is. Well, that's because I have a roundhouse T-shirt on, so people instantly associate with roundhouse. So I would say. Um, I'm part of the Paper Girl Project, um, which has been delivered at the Roundhouse, and I'm a Roundhouse staff, and I don't know if you guys who are Roundhouse volunteers said I'm a Roundhouse volunteer, and I don't know what that, it, 
people were like, oh, Roundhouse, because they right, identify. Like, like, a lot of people know the Roundhouse, so they identify with that. Oh, Roundhouse, yeah, I go to the Roundhouse, so I would get that. Oh, I love the Roundhouse. And then they go into, I take yoga at the Roundhouse, or whatever their Roundhouse spiel was. <laughs> so that was kind of a connection for people. Mm -hmm. They may not have connected with paper girl, but right away it was like, oh, the Roundhouse, yeah, I know the Roundhouse. Oh, interesting. Oh, you know what would be awesome? There? Is you know the paper bags that we used to carry when we were kids? If we had pink ones, it said paper girl on them. Oh. But we could get them, like, it would be so easy to just sew them up and everybody had one. That would be really cool. Like, Put the art in. Good for our postmortem. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, Sarah had like a rainbow yeah. bag, and I'm like, that looks cute. Like, that's. Yeah. yeah. taking the art and they're looking at it so we're going like this and Being finally polite. he just goes okay and he reaches in his pocket and starts to pull up some money because so he must have said free about 40 times <laughs> well I think that's the important thing that um, the recurrent theme here is that the more that we educated the public about what was going on yeah. the more they understood yeah. and because it's a first time project and it's 
part, it's kind of almost like branding exercise, right? Like the more that we're educating people, um, because it is so new, and they're learning. Because really, to wrap your head around the concept of people, like random acts of kindness are just, um, you know, super common. And to give it the art or cupcakes or whatever the item is, hugs, um, you know, the hug campaign, it just doesn't happen. And so that, that piece of letting people know and entering their relationship with the public, and it does turn them around. So yeah, they may not have liked that. Like maybe they found a cool frame and now they have this little abstract piece and they'll look at it all the time and think of that day they were visiting Vancouver. I had a few tourists and they hung it up on their wall and um, well, they got as well. Oh, they yes, 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 they went out to a couple of yeah. You know, I think, um, actually my favorite comment was uh, when we were just cycling back, Leslie was in front of me, and she was said, you know, I just feel like I need to have more things to give away for free, you said. Well, others here did too, liking back, that you were more, that, that you once you get into the momentum of it, like, we didn't have any on the return trip. So, that was really quite cute, you know. So beyond what the public was saying, that um, the generosity that we were offering uh, started to grow within us. And I think that it's probably been a really big learning experience for a lot of us who have been part of this journey from the beginning. But even today, you guys are an amazing team. And, you know, it's a little daunting not knowing the cyclist before and what, what that's going to be like. And um, this is a very, very well-behaved summer camp experience. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you caused it. <laughs> <laughs>